Um, there is a flag that is at half staff in honor of a man named Brian Sicknick, Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. There's his picture, his photo, who lost his life, dying from injuries suffered during the riot at the U.S. Capitol. And, and Officer Sicknick, our thoughts and prayers with his uh, family tonight, like so many men and women in blue, day in and day out, put on the uniform, go to work, not knowing what's going to happen that day, not knowing what violence they may come across, not knowing if they'll be able to come home. And Officer Sicknick was not able to come home, uh, died doing his job, serving and protecting. Now, there was another death that we've uh, spoken about here on the program, and that is 35-year-old U.S. Air Force veteran Ashley Babbitt, who was fatally shot by a member of that Capitol Police Force Wednesday as rioters moved through the Capitol building towards the House chamber. The shooting was captured on video by multiple cameras. In one video posted on Twitter by Boston uh, Stringer, Babbitt can be seen trying to climb through a window of barricaded doorway when she is shot in the neck and then falls to the ground. And in a second, bystander video posted to Twitter by Jay Nex, the shooter, a Capitol Police officer, can be seen on the other side of the window firing his weapon and delivering the fatal shot. Now, there were multiple video recordings of this shooting as well as many eyewitnesses. WUSA 9 spoke to one of them after the shooting. Well, we had uh, stormed into the, the chambers inside, and there was a young lady who rushed through the windows. A number of police and Secret Service were saying, get back, get down, get out of the way. She didn't heed the call, and as we kind of raced up to grab people and pull them back, they shot her in the neck, and she fell back on me and started saying she was fine, it's cool. And then she started kind of like moving weird, and blood was coming out of her mouth and neck and nose, and I don't know if she's alive or dead anymore. Well, she, she's not alive. So uh, one of the issues we're going to deal with here tonight are these two deaths and whether or not there could be murder charges and who could be brought up on murder charges for the death of the officer and for the death of Ashley Babbitt. Uh, so I want to start by putting up the federal murder statute because this isn't a state. This is going to be controlled by federal law. Murder is the unlawful killing of a human being with malice aforethought. Every murder perpetrated by poison, lying in wait, or any other kind of willful, deliberate, malicious, and premeditated killing, or committed in the perpetration of or attempt to per perpetrate any arson, escape, murder, kidnapping, treason, espionage, sabotage, aggravated sexual assault, sexual abuse, child abuse, burglary, or robbery, or perpetrated as part of a pattern or practice of assault or torture against a child or children, or perpetrated from a premeditated design unlawfully and maliciously to affect the death of any human being other than him who was killed is murder in the first degree, okay? Also want to take a look at the manslaughter uh, statute as well, because perhaps that's what could come into play here. Not sure, but let's take a look at it. Uh, federal manslaughter is the unlawful killing of a human being without malice. It is two kinds, voluntary upon a sudden quarrel or heat of passion, involuntary, in the commission of an unlawful act not amounting to a felony or in the commission in an unlawful manner or without due caution and circumspection, circumspection of a lawful act which might produce death. All right, we laid out the law. We laid out some of the facts. Let's bring in our think tank, night, uh, think tank tonight to go through it. Joining us in Los Angeles, California, thankfully tonight, a former federal prosecutor, Nima Romani, is with us. Joining us in South Orange, New Jersey, media law professor, legal journalist, Candace Kelly, and in the Bronx, New York, criminal defense attorney, Renee Hill. Usually go ladies first, but um, I got to go with the feds first tonight. Uh, <laughs> Nima, let me start with Officer Brian Sicknick. Um, and, and, and some of the facts surrounding exactly how he died is not clear it seems there was, you know, some sort of interaction. And when I say interaction, I mean violent interaction uh, with, a, with a, a rioter or rioters. Um, who can be prosecuted in our federal system for his murder? 
Vinny, the rioters that were involved in his death can and they absolutely should be prosecuted for murder. Wait, wait, let me let you stop you right there. The riot, the ones who have direct contact with him, because there's yeah, been a so lot we'll start of talk. With the easy cases. There, th those are these, there's been a lot of talk, and and people who watch Court TV very familiar with the felony murder doctrine sure. that is in effect in many of the states that we cover here on Court TV. Now we're in the federal system. I read the the statute. Um, is it so? So when you say rioters, be specific with us. Well, the specific rioters that were involved in the assault of Officer Sicknick, no question they should be charged with first degree murder. Then if you want to be very aggressive and go for the felony murder doctrine, obviously we know under federal law, burglary is an underlying crime for which you can be tried for felony murder. We've talked about felony murder a lot, obviously, in the George Floyd case and other cases. You know, the question is, are you going to charge thousands of people with felony murder? Probably not. You want to know who was specifically involved with the assault there. Could you charge those rioters? Could you charge the president, potentially? But again, I don't think that's what's going to happen in this case. You're going to charge with the folks who are directly involved with the assault on Officer Sicknick. They can. They should be charged. We don't have a whole lot of information on the assault. We just know what Deputy, uh, excuse me, the Acting Attorney General Rosen said today. But I know more facts will come out. And I expect those charges to happen very soon by the U.S. Attorney's Office in the District of Columbia. Candace, how, do, how, do, how far reaching do you think the charges could, could go here? Um, do you think it's going to be limited to the people?